hello my dear friends welcome back to my channel so this is the passing package video for control systems okay so it is subject code is 21 double e 52 this is for electrical and electronics uh, branch uh, control systems subject is there and also for the ec students okay so let me discuss first the passing modules which are the passing modules uh, and believe me friends this is the subject which is not only easy to pass but you can easily score in this particular subject okay so first of all let us discuss this first module sorry this uh, second module that is block diagram and signal flow graph in which uh, one question will be the theory over there which is the procedure for drawing block diagram or simply rules for drawing block diagram okay there are seven rules which you have to uh, write over there okay and block diagram reduction to find transfer function okay this may be the theoretical question uh, in this portion and problems on block diagram reduction and you don't need to be worried over here just because i have prepared some uh, problems on the block diagram reduction so i will show you the interface of the problems which i have prepared okay so you can go through this this is the block di diagram reduction part and these are my handwritten notes you can go through okay where i have written these all the rules uh, for this uh, reduction of block diagrams okay these are the rules and next is the problem solving videos sorry problem solving these pages were here okay you can see this is the problem first accordingly you will get all the problems which i have written over here okay so i have written almost uh, eight problems okay so you can go through these eight problems you have to practice at least if not eight you have to practice six problems from block diagram reduction which is the easier part okay you will easily understand this if you are facing some difficulties you can comment down so that i can upload videos on this uh, block diagram technique over there okay next part is it's our part okay it depends upon you which you should prefer or whichever is uh, convenient for you people you can go through accordingly okay so explain Mason's gain formula with a suitable example this is the uh, three uh, question uh, on this particular part that is signal flow graph next is uh, they may ask you properties of signal flow graph okay and also problems on signal flow graphs at least five problems you have to solve uh, and there are two varieties uh, suppose they, they will give the block diagram okay you have to convert it into the signal flow graph then accordingly you have to solve okay so for it also i have make the notes handwritten notes you will get it okay this is the messens gain formula and also this is the questions on the signal flow graph okay you can see the interface here this is the one variety and next variety is like this i will show you so convert block diagram into signal flow graph and obtain control ratio okay this will be the diagram you have to convert uh, this diagram first into signal flow graph okay then accordingly you have to solve so i have make it here first i have converted it in, into the signal flow okay then accordingly you have to follow the messens gain procedure over here okay so i will provide these notes don't no need to worry so this is all about the module second which is the passing module you can easily score 20 marks in this particular module okay so next is <clears throat> root locus so module 4 is rules for constructing root locus there are uh, some rules uh, by which you can construct the root locus okay so and also uh, root locus problems are there uh, which may be 14 or 15 up to 15 marks uh, question will be on root locus or sometimes 20 marks okay uh, and in the r part there are some definitions like phase margin what is gain margin what is phase crossover frequency what is gain crossover frequency and also uh, the problems on body plot see here this is body plot problems okay comparatively it is easier one uh, than the root locus okay root locus is time consuming so in the examination the elimination is the important part you should eliminate which questions you have to eliminate and accordingly which you have to attempt okay that is the most important part in the as far as the examinations are concerned okay so if i will just prefer you you can go through the body plot okay body plot problems are easier than root locus problems okay so it is my uh, convenience so next is the definite question the correlation between time and frequency response of second order this is all about module 4 so as i earlier mentioned that it is the scoring uh, subject so not only you can pass you can easily score so by these modules if you just cover these two modules you will get easily 40 marks dear friends okay if you are facing some problems in these uh, board plot problems uh, root locus problems make sure you will comment down so that i can tackle those problems in which you face difficulties okay so next is module 3 so module 3 there are some derivation part okay so first of all uh, let me discuss oh, okay so first of all let's discuss this module 3 what are the standard test signals so this is the important one step input ramp input parabolic input impulse input these are the four theoretical concepts in this particular uh, what we call module over here okay this is the with graph and mathematical expression it is most important one okay so i have also make uh, notes for it no need to worry i will provide those 
okay so <clears throat> next is the derive uh, the expression for the uh, under damped response of a second order feedback control system for a step input so this is the derivation part you should go through and next is obtain an expression for response of first order system for unit step input next derivation is derive uh, expression of steady state error for a simple closed loop system and state the factors on which it depends okay this is the part in the first chapter next is the ruth's criteria problems are there in the model third these are very simpler problems my dear friends as compared to this part if you are not uh, uh, good with the uh, these der uh, derivations over there or theoretical concepts so you can refer Ruth's criteria problems which are very very easier over there okay so my preference is to go through Ruth's criteria okay if you are uh, convenient with the uh, these particular derivations or uh, theoretical concepts you can go through okay there is no compulsion from my side <clears throat> so next is model 5 so model 5 there is uh, there are also two chapters like uh, first one is the nyquist plot and uh, next are the some theoretical concepts first one is the nyquist stability criteria or uh, it's also called as Cauchy's principle of argument okay so you have to uh, make sure that uh, in this particular part model fifth okay whatever you choose so this may be 14 marks nyquist uh, criterion problem okay and steps involved in nyquist criterion it is the uh, theoretical question and also you have to practice some nyquist plots you have to draw nyquist plot which will be 14 marks over there okay next part is the explain the following design with the pd controller design with pi controller pid proportional derivative proportional plus integral proportional plus integral plus derivative controller okay phase lag controller phase lag controller and lead lag controller this is all about the content in the module fifth over there okay so <clears throat> next is the module first which i will come later on over here module first define the control system compare open loop and closed loop system it is the definite question in the examination okay if you just refer the previous year question papers of the 18 scheme also as you are the 21 scheme okay there are not uh, the papers available for you and also model question papers are not available so you have to prefer the 18 scheme papers so, uh, a little bit syllabus is different okay so next is classification of control system it may be the question over there sometimes they will ask uh, like uh, write down the classification of control systems and also you have to practice some problems on this find the transfer function uh, x of s upon f of s for the systems like these will be the diagrams you have to find the transfer function okay two three problems you have to practice at least from this side okay next is the problems for mechanical system so diagram will be given okay you have to draw the mechanical network write the differential equations draw electric network by fv analogy okay force voltage analogy and draw uh, electric network by force current analogy okay but most of the times they are asking the draw electric network by force voltage analogy okay this is the important one and try at least three problems dear friends if you are not finding any problems i can share you the most important problems also okay so you will comment down accordingly i will share it okay uh, so i hope uh, this uh, particular video is beneficial for you people okay you will easily score in this uh, control system subject and believe me it is the uh, what we call it, only one subject which is scoring over there okay as far as other uh, other subjects are concerned you can easily score more than 80 in this subject by covering block diagram deduction root locus body plot next plot okay so make sure you will share uh, this video to all your friends who actually needed it so thank you for watching my video